Welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to create this awesome vintage look inside of Final Cut Pro. Two things I want to point out. First up, this look is for Rec. 709 footage, so not for S-Log or Cine4 footage. Then the second point on the list, this look is not doable without any plugins in Final Cut, at least not to my knowledge. For this look we're going to need two assets that will cost you something, but they are worth it. I use them in a lot of videos, so... I just recommend you buy them. If you're not willing to buy them, then you could always just watch my tutorial on how to create a VHS look inside of Final Cut Pro without any plugins. Also, this vintage look is from my latest music video, Lemons. In case you haven't watched it, feel free to check it out right here. It's quite an experience. And now let's jump into the tutorial. Okay, of course, first you have to shoot your footage. I would recommend not shooting it on a gimbal. You could, of course, also do that as a style choice. But normally this vintage footage is, of course, shot handheld or on a tripod. So I'm shooting it on a tripod right now. You could also shoot it handheld, but then I would recommend shooting it on a rig or at least on something that is a little bit stabilized and puts a little bit weight to the camera. Because if you just hold the camera itself, it's a little bit jittery with nowadays camera sizes because they are so small and jittery. So don't do that because that gives away that it's not a real vintage look. So after you shot your footage like for example I did right here we're going to put that into Final Cut. Now you have again two choices on how you're going to do your aspect ratio. Of course normally your video would be 16 by 9 like it is right now so you could either just create a 16 by 9 timeline and then just slap your 4 to 3 aspect ratio on it just a overlay you can download one for free down in the description from my selfie store. I have a few free cinematic aspect ratios down there like for example a 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio or a 4 by 3 aspect ratio so go ahead and download them or you could just create a 4 by 3 timeline which would actually give you a real 4x3 video. If you shot in 4K or Ultra HD, which is 3840 by 2160 pixels, you just have to put in 3840 by 2880 pixels and you have a 4x3 aspect ratio without losing any of your quality. Then we're going to put the first overlay on top of it that we have to pay for, which is Ezra Cohen's Dirty Letterboxes, an asset that I can heavily recommend. I have used it in a ton of music videos and it will basically pay for itself and it's a very great asset to use. You could either just slap it on your 16x9 footage or if you created a 4x3 timeline you just have to go down here in the transform options and click fit and then it will fit into your 4x3 image. Next we're going to use a free asset which is a LUT and it's the M31 LUT. A LUT made popular mostly by the famous travel filmmaker Sam Calder. Most of you should know him. So either slap it onto your footage or create an adjustment layer which I would do because it's just you just have more overview of what you're doing. Then put your custom LUT effect from the effects tab down on the right side on it and select the M31 option. Looks already pretty good, but we're going to take it one step further by buying the M Restyle plugin from Motion VFX. Motion VFX makes one of the best plugins for a Final Cut. I used them basically since I'm editing in Final Cut. I'm not quite sure how much it costs right now. You'll see it on screen. I bought it right when it came out, so I think I got it for half the price. But even if you have to pay the full price, it's definitely worth it, at least in my opinion. Once you have bought it and installed it, you have to go to your titles, scroll down here and select this exact effect. I'm not quite sure how it is called right now because I'm in the forest and I probably should have noted it down. I got a few notes, but I didn't write down which effect it is, but you will see it on screen. It's this exact same one that I used in the music video, which is the best one in my opinion. Now then of course I would recommend that you play around a little bit with the plugin yourself because then you can dial in your perfect look how you want it exactly. You can make a little bit more flicker, you can turn the vignettes on and off, you can I don't know, there's just so much adjustments that you can do. You can really make it your own because they give you a lot of settings that you can dial in to make your own style. In case you want to copy my exact settings, I'll have them on screen right now. Just pause the video and feel free to copy them, then you can get the exact look that I have right here. One thing that I forgot to say is of course all the products that I used in this video, free or not free, are linked down below in the description. And that's already it from this video, that's how you get this amazing vintage look. I really hope you enjoyed it, in case you did, please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing for more amazing filmmaking content, tutorials and all them videos about filmmaking, you know what it is. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Goodbye! Okay, now I'm recording the sample footage that I will use for the tutorial.